keeping the population healthy and providing them with world-class health care require very different strategies. Providing excellent health care means investing in doctors, nurses, hospitals and clinics and we have done well in this area. Keeping the population healthy, however, requires ground-up mass community participation. It's much more challenging. It requires Singaporeans to take ownership of their own health. And we have made some progress. For example, one in four hawkers now use cooking oil with reduced saturated fat. 40% of Singaporeans ask for less gravy, less sauce, less oil in their dishes when eating out in hawker centres. But the cup is not yet full. Not all Singaporeans have yet fully embraced a healthy lifestyle. While more people are exercising, only one in five do so regularly. One in two Singaporeans do not exercise at all. I particularly worry about rising obesity among Singaporeans. Our obesity prevalence has now hit 11%. I worry because obesity is closely linked to diabetes, heart attacks and strokes. Not surprisingly, our diabetes prevalence rate has also gone up to 11%. The increase is seen across all ages, both genders and the major ethnic groups. While this is also a global trend, we must try to buck the trend. We must step up our efforts to reverse, if not at least arrest this rising obesity trend. Our work with schools, workplaces and food courts to provide healthy and lower calorie dishes must continue. We will extend these upstream to childcare centres targeting parents of preschoolers. We will henceforth conduct household surveys on obesity more frequently at two yearly intervals instead of six. We must keep a tight pulse on the trend so that we can refine our policies promptly. 